Welcome back to Life and Career, a new series of Anderson UE. Today we have a very, very special guest. She was uh, raised and born here in, in Dubai. Uh, she has a bachelor's on commerce and a degree in ACCA. Uh, she joined us uh, one year ago. She started as a tax intern, now she is tax associate. And it's for me a pleasure to present, to introduce Jenica Melora Meneses. Jenica, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Eduardo? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm very good. Thank you for, for waking up so early today <laughs> <laughs> and, and coming here to, to our studio. Uh, well, Jenica, uh, as, as I said, you know, this, this, this series is about knowing a little bit more who, 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 are, who are the people that, that, you know, are working here at Anderson. Uh, so if you could share with us, uh, for example, how or what inspired you, you know, to pursue a career in accounting and commerce? My deep fondness for numbers. I, I really love numbers. Science is not my cup of tea from cash flow forecast, from budgeting, financial management. I love all of these from a very young age, especially I, my deep fondness goes out to my parents. It's quite genetic, I would say, because both my parents, my mom and dad, are from the accounting and finance industry. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. Ah, that that's nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for some advice uh, regarding <laughs> personal finance. <laughs> uh, so how how's been your experience working here at Anderson? Uh, it's been so a far? roller coaster. When I joined Anderson at first, uh, I didn't know Excel shortcuts to be honest. But as uh, through my supportive peers, my colleagues, they have helped me a lot understand what exactly Excel is and how it's used in VAT refunds, registrations. It's it's basically your base. So right now I even can use uh, Excel without a mouse. So that's pretty much yeah, yeah. good at it. Yeah, that's actually the, the masters of, of Excel. They work now without mouse. And, and yes, I mean, this technical skill, and even though it sounds like kind of like Excel is the starting point, no? Because later you have to jump onto analysis, onto focusing like on, on giving solutions to, to, to the clients, no? And let's talk about, for example, the university and uh, workplace transition. Uh, as I said in the beginning, you you are you basically you are from here 100%. Then you decided to go to 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 India and then coming back. So how how do you feel uh, your university education? Uh, prepare you uh, for for the the world of accountancy here in Dubai. I have done my degree in BCom as well as I've done a degree in ACC as well. So ACC specifically has helped me to improve my typing speed. When I give exams in ACC, it's more of all it's online based. So the typing speed helps me a lot as well as the uh, Excel shortcuts as well. So that is what I have learned from my university to my workplace. Yeah, and actually, hard skills, these hard skills, typing, Excel, it's very important to basically to become a master on, on that, no? So, for example, uh, regarding the skills that you use both that are essential for your role, for example, in dealing with bad refunds and regulations, what would you say are, are the most important, probably soft skills? Time management and patience, I would say interacting with so many clients with from various different sectors you need to have confidence as well as the patience to deal with so many clients from various different sectors from the healthcare the restaurant the manufacturing to the logistics you really need to have confidence as well as the patience to deal with them as well as the time management i that's one of my core values managing my time as well as my work that's the first thing i do in the morning i manage my entire day through a to-do list and that's how i go about throughout the, throughout the day wow you have this accountancy model you know in in, in your life that uh, i i need to learn about <laughs> <laughs> uh, and well for example regarding to 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 regulations to research uh, as, as a as a basically as a tax associate it's, it's not only about like obviously mastering these hard skills, uh, knowing, knowing about Excel, but also providing solutions to the clients. So what is the most uh, interesting sorry, uh, regulation or law that related to the UAE taxes that you have researched so far? Because that's part of your, of your job. In the UAE VAT law, 
I have learned that not, not all supplies are taxable. There is zero rated supply, exempt supply. This is what fascinates me the most. So I think I have, re, uh, I have done a lot of research on zero rated and exempt supply, especially when it comes to the healthcare sector. So that is what has fascinated me also. <laughs> okay, okay. And, uh, well, basically UAE, as uh, well, probably people from other parts of the world that they are watching this, well, it's kind of new. The, the tax landscape, is, it's kind of new. So uh, regulations basically have been improving, have been uh, basically, uh, there, there have been a lot of public clarifications. So being updated, it's a most here in the UAE, no? And how do you stay updated? Firstly, the FTA portal, obviously, Basic. that goes out to the FTA portal as well. Uh, plus my uh, social media apps, LinkedIn, the newspapers. That is how I keep updated with my tax regulations as well as interacting. I always, always and always tell my peers to interact with a number of people because that's how they help you to gain or increase your knowledge in when it comes to the real tax world. Yeah, yeah. And, and episode one, I, I was talking with Shilpa about like uh, actually talking with your peers no? because even though you can you can learn from the updates, the cases, the real case scenarios that you get involved, actually you get a not, lot yes. of knowledge. No, I know also that there can be like a lot of clarifications, but examples they, they on, a, on a daily basis, they can help you a lot to keep solving uh, so or providing solutions. No? And uh, about regarding your personal and your professional growth, how it's been, you know, you know, you know working here in Dubai uh, for you? How's it been for you? It's been a wonderful experience, literally. From every aspect, I get to, each day is a learning experience over here at Anderson. So I would definitely recommend all young professionals to join Anderson over here. But actually, that was what my next question. What advice would you give, you know, to, to young professionals and students that are considering, you know, to, to to belong to the uh, accounting uh, world and uh, for example and that people that they want to move to other countries you no know, i remember back in mexico like i was seeing this this the, the chance or the opportunity to even working in another country it's like even working in mexico is like come on what is going to happen you no know, after university but even working to another country what what would, would you tell what to, to these youngsters that they are watching us have confidence and interact with your peers that is how you increase your knowledge in whatever you do always believe in yourself and just do not be afraid to try anything new and what recommendations would you give to the students that they are in university and they want to go and they want to enter to the uh, field of tax and regulations join anderson <laughs> this is the best place you can work so we are talking about i mean kind of like to wrap up uh, we're talking about like Create a network, have your network, then uh, get involved and get it updated, you know, constant, constantly updated. Uh, knowledge is something that uh, it's there, but we have to basically to look for it. You know? uh, upskilling ourselves, both in the hard and soft skills, as we have talked. And uh, well, and also obviously internships, no? the opportunity that they are there, you have to knock the door, you have to go and, and look for them. Uh, but another another important question also, it was a, a kind of the, the way I'm finishing this, this, this series is, let's say we have a time machine, no? and, and you can go into the past, you cannot change anything, and you can give a recommendation to yourself, something that nobody told you, something that, that you would have loved to hear, but basically you found it by yourself, years later you know what 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 w would it you share with you i always encourage everybody to believe in yourself do not be afraid to try anything you new what is what will happen will happen so just do it <laughs> okay okay well the ladies and gentlemen thank you very much jenica uh, melora meneses meneses sounds like portuguese spanish yeah no? i do like... have ancestors from portuguese <laughs> Later, we are going to have the episode three about the ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Jenica. Thank you very much for being here, for waking up so, so early. I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that uh, all of your recommendations are going to be like, very useful for the people that they are there. And basically, they, 
to know what is going to happen next. Thank you very much, Jenica. And remember to follow us on our social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also follow us on Spotify. And remember, uh, rely on Anderson and elevate your business. See you in the next episode.